everyone, we have a composite function, which is x squared minus 6x plus 7. And we want to determine what the functions gx and fx are. When you look at the function, it's not immediately clear what gx and fx are. So we're going to have to modify this composite function. So as we have a quadratic function, we can complete the square to see what we get. So we'll have f gx equals x squared minus 6x. So our middle term is negative 6. So let's halve that and square it. We'll get 9. We will add that number back to our function. So we have plus 9. But because you've added a number, remember to subtract it again and add on your 7. So now we have a completed square here. So f g x equals x minus the square root of 9 is 3, all squared. Negative 9 plus 7 is negative 2. So now we've just changed the form of the function. And we're looking for g inside function f. And we can see that here. We can see this as function gx, which is x minus 3. That's our inner function. Our outer function is f, so we write that as fx equals this expression squared. So we'll write x for that space, squared minus 2. So this is your answer, but we should check it by doing the composite again. So we have f dx. So this is telling us to put our g function inside the f function. So we take our g function and we substitute back into here. So that will give us x minus 3 all squared minus 2. So it looks correct. If you want to check your completing square, you will need to expand this again and check you get back to the original question. Thanks for watching.